What's up, bitches? It's day 17 of my healthy eating. Paco's been uh, cheering me on the whole way. Huh, Paco? A little baby boy. I love you. He's been cheering me on. So, I got to show you my proof. Day 17 in the books. Let's get it out. I walked 9,289 steps, which is 411 calories. So, and let's see how many miles that is. 4.48 miles. So, let's mark it on my calendar. This helps me so much. I forgot to mark yesterday. Okay, marking it right here. 4.48. So, since I started, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 days on my healthy eating healthy lifestyle for the better forever my dears i do want to share something with you guys so on thanksgiving i stuck to um my calorie deficit while i was at my parents house and i even went walking while i was there right well i when i got home that evening i had had a binge attack like i I honestly think what happened was like I really wanted to have some pecan pie and some um, stuffing and I was like withholding. I was restricting myself from having those things on Thanksgiving because I was really trying to stick to this, you know, my calorie deficit and everything. And what ended up happening was when I got home and I had those things, I binge on, I binged on them and I binged so bad that night. You guys, I made myself so sick. I had a bunch of ham. I had a piece of pumpkin pie and a piece of pecan pie. And I woke up the next morning. I was so sick, so sick to my stomach. Um, I was um, so ashamed that I tried to starve myself the next day as like a punishment. Well, <laughs> One thing I have learned is that when you're on a journey, there's going to be ups and downs and there's going to be mistakes that are made. And I was so scared that this was going to knock me back on my weight loss that I was going to lose all the progress that I've made. And I'm happy to report that it hasn't. I'm 207.4. Um, one day of unhealthy eating didn't knock me back like I thought it was going to, you know. But... I almost let myself get in this horrible habit of like punishing myself, which would have ended up in a result of me binge eating because I would have starved myself that day. So what I did instead was I got back on track with my walking and I got back on track with my calorie deficit, the food that I was intaking and kept it. And I, and I got back to the comfort foods that have been helping me stay on track, which is my steamed vegetables, the, the box of steamed vegetables. I do Brussels sprouts, or I do cauliflower and broccoli, or I do the antioxidant blend, which is cauliflower, broccoli, peppers, and carrots. And um, those, those help me. They're safe. They're about 110 calories for a box of those steamed veg veggies. And then my baked salmon that I've been cooking in the um, oven and I got back on track with my salmon and veggies um, and now I'm back on my track I just got done walking I came home I made Brussels sprouts steamed Brussels sprouts with salt and pepper and my um, baked salmon it was delicious I just had it but I wanted to share that like kind of down with you guys because like I caught myself like trying to be I caught myself like trying to punish myself, you know, and trying to restrict and starve myself because I was so angry that I binged the night before. And, um, like I can't let myself get into those unhealthy, um, behaviors. I have to, I need to eat my three meals a day and I need to walk my 10,000 steps and I need to stick to it and drink plenty of water. And that's what I'm going to keep doing. Instead of restricting myself like I did this um, Thanksgiving and, it, and then it resulting in a binge for Christmas, I'm going to have the foods I want to have. 
I'm just going to weigh them and make sure that I stick to my calories for that day. So if I want to have pecan pie, I will make sure that I cut out a sliver of pecan pie that meets my calorie deficit. If I want to have pumpkin pie, I will make sure that I cut out a sliver that meets my calorie deficit. Same with the stuffing and the turkey and the, everything that I put on my plate. I want to make it to fit into my calorie deficit. And if I eat 1,200 calories at, thanks, at Christmas dinner and that's all I eat for the whole day, then that's fine. As long as I stick to my fucking calories <laughs> and I'm not going to restrict myself from having the foods that I normally don't have because then it makes me act out later on. So I hope sharing this um, with you guys inspires you to make changes in your life. And if you're struggling, I hope that you know that you're not alone. And I'll continue to share these uh, experiences with you guys as well. All right, bye.